Right, hi everybody. This is Chris, 2E0UKH. This is a legendary scanner. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have owned this scanner. This is the original um, realistic 2004. Realistic 300 channel Pro 2004. And I bought my first one in 1987 it covers 25 megs to 1300 am fm and wide and this holds a very important place in my uh, radio career you know hobby you know at the time of release this cost me a month's wages you know this i was 17 and this radio was just unbelievable. I wasn't a ham. I didn't even know what, you know, what the two meter band was or the 70 sems, you know. But I learned from experience searching around where you'd hear people. And uh, so here we can see a very nice clean example. I bought this at Newark at the ham radio show in the UK for a very nice price of 15 pound but the light the light the di you know it doesn't it's lost the led illumination the dimmer you know but that doesn't matter that can be rectified you know there's loads of mods on all these uh, old realistics and this led to a wonderful hobby of listening of CB, of scanners, shortwave, HF receivers, all of this stuff. And uh, put it in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you guys have owned this one. If you've owned this one or a variant, put it in the comments. You know, I've owned probably more than 50 scanners in my life. You know, I started off. This is the first scanner I bought and I've had all the realistics, all the handhelds, went through the Jupiters, 7100, 7000, actually I started on the 7000, 7100, the 8, was it the 8 or the 9000? And then I progressed through HF receivers, like the low, low HF 250, I think it was, and... Uh, the ASU FRG 90, was it 9600? And uh, anyway, this sparked an incredible interest. So long story short, I got a bargain. This was £15. And uh, if you've bought one, if you've got one of these already, kept it for years, let me know. And uh, also from Newark, I, I'm... Just gonna move my tripod up. It will be a little bit shaky. Also from Newark, I bought the Uniden UBC seventy two XLT, the one in the middle there with a the green yellowish uh, outline on the screen. And I have owned this for many years. This is an old realistic Hyperscan two thousand and six. But it's not as good as the 2004 because it doesn't have um, metal surround. And also, this is an old second out, an old, very old second hand one where someone has hacked off the power lead. So I'm going to give this away free to a friend of mine at work. Sorry, a friend of mine, uh, Andy Kinch. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to send that off to him. Uh, free of charge because I, you know, I don't need that, but I know what that can do and that will help him out. Anyway, 7 3, put it in the comments. Have you owned or used a Realistic Pro 2004? This was legendary, mate, in the time back in the day, you know, it was this was like over £300. In uh, 1987, 
Unbelievable. But uh, I've had a few of these since. But this one I'm keeping because I got it for £15. And uh, it's a very good tool for a ham radio operator. OK, 7-3. Thank you for listening. Uh, 2E0UKH.